All right, guys. What we're going to show you today is a form of interval training. So we're going to get less stride contacts by doing this so it's safer on your joints. And it's also more effective, studies show, for heart rate purposes and to lose body fat. Um, just look at the physiology of a long distance runner versus someone who runs a short distance. So what Tommy's going to do here is what's called 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. It's a one-to-one -one ratio as far as intervals go. He lets 10 seconds go by. Notice how he holds his hands on the side of the treadmill so he doesn't fall. He puts one foot down, then gets the other foot down. And then he starts his second interval. So if you guys are at home and you need you know, a conditioning day, here's a really good idea. It's actually going to be extremely short, but really, really effective. So you can do 10 on, 10 off. If you're less advanced, you could do 10 on, 30 seconds off. You could do 30 seconds on, one minute off. But the longer you're running on the treadmill, the lower the intensity should be. But you should keep the intensity pretty high so that it's not like when you're walking in the park. You should always be pushing yourself when you're doing conditioning, but it depends on the amount of seconds that you're doing. Tommy's only doing 10 seconds here, so his intensity is very high. He's almost sprinting for 10 seconds, and then he's jumping off for 10 seconds. So play around. Warm up for five minutes. Start with six reps, then do eight reps, then do 10 reps, then do 12 reps, 14, 16, as the weeks go on. Gradually progress yourself, and then do five-minute cool down when you're, when you're done. Here's a really short but effective conditioning workout that you can try.